Welcome to EVO 10 ECU Flash Training Part 28. In this video, we're going to take a look at something called our idle airflow table. Our idle airflow table is something that I've added the XML code into our definitions now within our provided ROMs in our training course. It's going to expose this table to allow you to edit it in case you need to have additional idle airflow or throttle plate opening at idle. This can be especially important if we have huge camshafts installed onto our engine on a built engine or large injectors or if we replace a throttle body. All of that can affect how much the throttle plate is open and how well we're going to be able to maintain our idle speed. So we're going to go over um, what to look for and how to adjust our table here and the conditions that you might need to use this in. We're going to have a lot to cover so let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a real quick look at a table that I've added in the XML definition code in our EVO 10 course packet. This be, might be something you never have to touch, but I'm going to go over it real quickly here because we haven't covered it yet in the training course, and it's came up from some students that have asked with more extreme EVO 10 builds why they couldn't get their idle to hold and maintain to get their uh, calibration process started. So if we actually take a look uh, at the very top here, I have a 2010 USDM five-speed manual ROM open. Doesn't really matter which ROM you grab out of our course packet. It'll have the XML code defined and it will be uh, all valid to start to work. Now I do want to mention in our EVO 10 course packet, if you've previously downloaded it, you're going to have to download it again and then you're going to have to take all of the XML definition codes that I've provided already and then replace them from the ones that are in the EVO 10 course packet. So uh, the, the essentially the EVO 10 course packet's all updated and you have to go and get rid of your old XML structure and put in the new just to be able to expose this table. Now, if you don't have this problem where EVO 10 doesn't want to maintain and hold its own idle, uh, then you may not have to ever edit this and don't worry about it. But I wanted to add this in here because this is a, a very important aspect. If you have an extreme EVO 10 build, you're definitely gonna have to go into the table and start to edit it. Um, or else you're never going to have it uh, holding its own idle and, and being able to get started and doing your calibration. So what we're going to do here is actually take a look under current ROM metadata. We can see here at the very top I have the miscellaneous section. These are the things that we can turn off or turn on to make sure we don't have any kind of faults or any kind of issues. If we go a little bit further down here, we're going to find we have throttle and then we have underneath throttle idle throttle airflow. This table is now new. And uh, this is what we're going to be taking a look at and talking about here. So let's go and click on this and we can see now we have a two-dimensional table that opens up here. Now the very top axes, so we're looking here in our two-dimensional table, this is idle units. Now the idle units are going to be some way related to airflow. I don't have an exact correlation to what our idle units mean, but they are in relation to airflow. And at the below the values here, this is going to be in terms of percent of our actual throttle percentage. So what this table is doing is translating the ingested airflow or register airflow coming from our mass airflow sensor or the estimated coming from our MAP sensor in speed density. And it's translating it. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.